If you are battling from hair loss and are exploring the treatment options, you may have come across the terms minoxidil and PRP. And you would have often wondered whether the two can be used together or not. Well, if this is your question, then please stick around because in this video, we'll be decoding the science behind minoxidil and PRP and whether the two are helpful for your hair loss or not. So what is PRP? PRP stands for platelet rich plasma. Basically, it's a platelet concentrate derived from your own blood. So we take patient's blood around 40 to 50 ml. We spin it in a machine two times. It's called the double centrifugation method and extract platelets. Then we activate these platelets by adding either calcium chloride or a cell. Once the platelets are activated, they release their growth factors into the liquid solution. You can call it the golden serum or simply PRP. So this PRP, when it is injected into your scalp, it stimulates the production of stem cells. It's not a stem cell treatment, but it stimulates the production of stem cells in your hair follicle and thereby supercharging them. This is how PRP helps in your hair loss. And now minoxidil. Minoxidil is one of the oldest treatments, oldest allopathic treatments available for male pattern or female pattern hair loss. What minoxidil does? Minoxidil increases the blood flow across your hair follicle. Minoxidil puts more and more hair in the anagen or the growing phase. It also elongates the duration of anagen phase. So hair fall becomes less, hair growth is prolonged. Ultimately, you get thicker, fuller hair. Minoxidil is available in oral form, tablet form. Minoxidil is available in lotion form that you can apply, lotion, foams, gels, there are multiple formulations of minoxidil available and we prescribe it to our patients depending on uh, their age, depending on their extent of the hair loss, ease of use and the desired effect. Minoxidil is USFDA approved and it's a tried and tested method. Though it is not the most effective hair loss treatment, but it's one of the most common ingredients in our hair loss treatment regime. What minoxidil exactly does? As we have discussed, it reduces hair fall by prolonging the growth phase of your hair. But that's not all. It also stimulates some of your dormant follicles. For example, if I apply minoxidil on this part of my skin, it would become like this. Small baby hair will grow. This is called hypertrichosis. We being mammals have hair follicles across our body which are very thin and may not be visible to the naked eye. Minoxidil thickens and elongates these baby hair, not to the extent of the scalp hair, but at least small fine baby hair grows that may help in making your hair look more fuller. So now the question of combining the two, can the two be combined? Well, of course they can be combined and the effect is synergistic, they add up because the mechanism of action is different. PRP works by providing growth factors and stimulating your stem cells. Minoxidil works by increasing the blood flow along the hair follicle and balancing out the hair cycle. So when we combine the two treatments, the result is much better than one treatment alone. So it can definitely be combined. Does it increase the chances of any kind of side effects? No, uh, most of the time, 99% of patients do not experience any kind of internal side effects with PRP or minoxidil. At the most, mild headache may happen, which resolves in a few days. Uh, some itching or irritation on the scalp can happen because of minoxidil, then we change the formulation or we advise our patients to shampoo more frequently. So side effect wise, uh, when we are using PRP and minoxidil, it's very safe because the treatment is non-hormonal. You may have heard of DHT blockers, which are very commonly prescribed and uh, we always recommend it to our patients who actually need them but then there may be some side effects involved. With PRP and minoxidil, side effects are minimal and often very well tolerated and they reverse even while on treatment. If somebody complains of persistent side effects like what we have discussed, headache or itching and dandruff, then we change the treatment. However, uh, these treatments though are available, minoxidil is available over the counter, but in my opinion, it should not be used indiscriminately. It should be used under a dermatologist supervision and PRP is a clinic uh, based procedure. Now, who cannot do um, these treatments? There are certain individuals where we recommend not to use minoxidil and PRP individually or in combination. Most commonly in pregnant ladies, uh, many times in breastfeeding ladies also, patients who are on any kind of immunosuppressant medicines, we avoid doing PRP. Patients who are on antiplatelets also, we avoid doing PRP, but minoxidil can be used in such patients. So to conclude, can they be mixed together? Yes, a combination of PRP and minoxidil is totally recommended uh, under a guidance of a dermatologist. Usually it's a safe, well-tolerated and an effective treatment option. If you are ready to take the leap, then you should consult your dermatologist and start your anti-hair loss treatment. This is Dr. Gorang Krishna signing off. 
If you have any questions, please ask us and we'll be very, very happy to answer all your questions. Thank you.